Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. If you're looking for a candidate RV hauler that can take a Jeep, this one's really close. If you want to check out the RV hauler named Boxer, join me in this video. We're looking at 2014 Cascadia Evolution low rise, which is pretty cool and it's got a bed on the back that can accommodate a Jeep. I'm going to give you some history about this RV hauler, how it came to be today in this configuration, and I'm going to point out to you it's so close we can do some final customizations here on the back to make it tow the largest of fifth wheels. Maybe you're looking to tow... oh there's a Lux, there's a New Horizon Majestic, maybe a DRV, spacecraft, whatever you've got Hey, we can put some toys up here. So let's zero in really quickly here on what we have on the back of this unit. So this is a bed that has been designed initially for what's called a haul and tow. So this was designed to put a bumper pull trailer up there. And this truck was designed to tow brand new RVs from the manufacturers in Indiana all over North America. So it's got a winch system and a track system that would pull a bumper pull trailer up to the front and then they call this a stinger. The stinger would extend out and you'd hook up a bumper pull trailer as well to be flat towed on the ground. Now that's what this was used for primarily but of course this is an amazing candidate to be able to tow the largest fifth wheels. So we've got enough room or enough space on the back of this RV hauler bed that if you wanted an air ride hitch, it would be placed right in this space. This is even a little bit of extra space we don't even have to use. We could cut this off, put in a 37 inch long, for example, an ET hitch, and the pin would be right about there and we still have 56 inches of space between the pin and the back of this two-door Jeep. Theoretically, if we wanted to get a four-door Jeep up here, we would utilize this remaining space on the back of the bed and extend it. I would extend it out flat, but we can do those customizations and get the hitch right into this space. Absolutely doable. Now, Obviously, we've got some good condition drive tires on the back, dual axle. I'll show you that winch mechanism. So the winch is here. It goes to a pulley and that's where it goes along the bed. And of course, the bumper pull would be attached up onto that uh, uh, two, and a, two and five sixteenths or two inch trailer ball. We can flip that one over that would be there for the bumper pull. So the bottom half of this Cascadia is a wrap. So it's a really shiny metallic wrap. It's in super sh shape. Um, I'm sorry, we got a little bit of dust just from it sitting. We had a rainstorm here and it washed a little bit of dust off the roof. But we've cut, done a cut and polish on the whole truck. It's in great shape. We've got next to new Michelin steer tire here and even here the graphics on the front of this hood still look superb. We've got upgraded LED headlights and we've got the Freightliner customized uh, moose bumper. This is an SNV manufacturing. So this one is manufactured in Canada out of Winnipeg. Heavy, heavy duty and as you can see it's still super shiny. Even when we look at this Freightliner, the grill, it's awesome, it's in great shape. I will say, we've probably got about half a dozen little rock chips in the window. That's maybe something you would want us to address. They're not in the field of vision, but they are elsewhere on the windshield. Certainly would pass a safety inspection. And just bear with me, I'm gonna go slowly around 
boxer and then I'll take you inside. If you're interested in seeing about a hundred photos of this unit, I've got them on my website at right at the moment of making this video. It's on the for sale section. Now at the time that you view this video, this RV hauler may still be uh, available or it might be sold. Likely they go pretty quickly. I'm honored that people uh, watch my videos and sometimes choose these RV haulers to become their own. So go to my website rvhaulers.ca and there's an inventory page and you'll find Boxer and you'll be able to see a lot of video details about him. So he's got about 270,000 miles on him and sometimes people are a little bit concerned with that mileage number and I want to mention we can add a powertrain warranty for about $110 a month. So we've got an aftermarket warranty. You don't have to take it to any specific dealership. Any heavy duty truck shop will do. And the warranty covers things like the engine, the transmission, the rear ends, the drivetrain, the emission system, includes the turbo, the injectors, the water pump. I've really tailored this warranty with this large company to cover these RV haulers that might be a little bit higher mileage and might be something you weren't interested in. But that gives us real peace of mind that even on a little bit older unit, you know, 2014 with 600 and, or pardon me, 970,000 miles roughly, we got peace of mind that we aren't gonna get any big bills. Let me take you inside. I'm just gonna share with you some of my observations. The first thing that I'll mention is the Freightliner original factory seats are, a little bit of fluff there, sorry, are beautiful. Really, really nice. Let's look at the driver. So I've got a little bit of wear right here on the arm where you would expect, you know, the person's arm has been sitting over time. So this is a dual bunk unit. So that upper bunk right now is folded up against the back wall. It rotates up a little bit and comes out at about this height. I'll do that for you in a moment. They rotate this knob, it releases it. And you can see as I pull it down, the back also hinges up. So there's the rear bunk configured. Carpet is really nice. You know, we've got a little bit of marking there. Some steam cleaning is required. I'll maybe work on those if you wish. So we've got a cabinet here. and a pull-out tray. Here behind the driver position is what I would call a clothes cabinet. It's got a, a clothes rod that goes across the top. I'll just slowly pan across the upper dash area, CB radio. I'll call it the glove box, some cubbies. Here's the window coverings. I'll continue the tour of the back of the sleeper first. So another cabinet down below. Refrigerator. Coming up a little bit behind the passenger seat, you'll see the microwave and another cabinet above. I'll slowly pan and show you the condition of the plastics. We do have, I want to point out, we've got a couple holes here. What I might do is just mount a, you know, a disc there. Let me zoom in. There we go. Mount, <clears throat> you know, we've got some plastic circular discs that look somewhat like these. Uh, for, you know, you can use it for surface mounting, cell phone holders, things like that.
So Bluetooth ready stereo, MP3 player. And you look at things like the steering wheel, super clean, you know, not all worn. Really a truck that's been cared for. One thing I pride myself on is making sure that I try to disclose absolutely everything about these trucks that I inspect on behalf of my customers. This one I can tell has been smoked in in the past. So I want to make sure that you're aware of that. And I will say, I, I've, I've worked with some units that did have some smoke in them in the past, and it's a real challenge to get that smoke out of them. It'll always kind of be there, you know, that the Florida heat or the Texas heat hits that truck, warms it up in here, and sometimes it, even if we steam clean all the surfaces and all the plastics are, are scrubbed carefully, it'll still be there. So I wanted you to be aware of that. Let's look at something else that I think makes this uh, a great candidate. This Freightliner uh, is powered by the DD15 engine, which is known to be quite a reliable engine. We've got tons and his of historical maintenance records on this truck as well. We know the original owner. We know how particular he has been with his maintenance. We know the repair history of this truck. And I think that really lends it uh, it gives us some comfort, right, to know that this thing was proactively maintained. You know, this was his his living, his income, <clears throat> and he was careful to make sure he stayed on top of things uh, so that he, his income continued. Something else that is attractive about this Freightliner is the auto shift transmission. The controller is right here. All you do is you rotate this dial forward into drive or neutral or reverse and it goes through the gears all on its own. Now something else that I want to point out is we're a really small company, right? We've got a small core of guys here and gal that are really particular about our RV haulers and everything that we do at RV haulers is custom. If you're looking for, you know, a a steel bed to be installed on an RV hauler, we can do that to load up the smart car or other toys. Uh, also check out more of our videos here on YouTube. I've got, I think at the time of making this video, I'm around 500 videos. So I've got all kinds of information about what we do at RV haulers. And I have a special request for you. It's you folks that I've, I've been honored. You've continued to find interest in my videos over the years. Help me make these videos and guide future videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I won't even edit that out. I'll just leave that in. This is normal, right? This is, I, I, I feel like I'm just making home movies here in my backyard showing people what I build. And if you have questions, please pose them down below in the comment section. I love to get to as many of those questions as I can to answer them. And it also helps me guide future videos. So please comment. Please give me some help and direction on how you want to see future videos. And of course, I need to ask please subscribe. It helps me a ton. And as well, give me a thumbs up. I'm Greg from RV Haulers. I appreciate you watching my video about this RV hauler named Boxer. Please drive safe. I appreciate your time.